What is going on guys, I'm here with more snake draft tournament coverage, this time I have NJMP versus Porsche, and yeah, it's the renovation again, I didn't feel too good yesterday, I'm a little bit sick, but I should still be fine and able to narrate. So Paul Andrew, he brings his trick room team, there's a team my man sorry mate, but he has a Zygarde instead of Crawdon, and this, I like this a lot, and this could be um, a trick room Zygarde variant, choice Bandit, or it could also be a DD variant, we don't know that yet, but their max HP Zygarde is really bulky. And the speed is not that good, so it would make sense for it to be just max HP and a slow Zygarde, but like I said, it could also be a DD variant. And yeah, so turn 1, um, I assume that Porsche didn't want to stay in with the DNC uh, on the Zygarde earlier, because the Zygarde is max HP, DNC doesn't kill it with Moonblast, and he dies to a thousand arrows. And DNC is definitely helpful in this game. Uh, DNC or Dougie is his rocker in this match, but NJMP made a really nice play there, doubling out the Zygarde into the Yuxi on the Tangles to get up the Trick Room. Um, so, I assume Porsche couldn't get up his Roxy, that would be a good play, or he can also just fire off a Moon Blast. And JMP is most likely going to go into his uh, Majorna here, as it runs max HP and it can eat up any hit that is the he wants to go for with ease. Um, since this is most likely going to be Stealth Rocks, I don't think it's going to be Rocks Duggy. That means it has to give up a coverage move, so it either has to give up Earth Power or Hidden Power Fire, and if it gives up, if it has to give up Earth Power, that means it cannot really touch this Majorna and the Morwal, so that's really nice for NJMP. Um, Porsche is going to be forced to go into his Pex or Tangles, depending if the Tangles is also AV, but most likely we're going to see the um, Pex coming out here. As I assume it's uh, going to be Shutshell, uh, Shutshell Pex, since Dougie is still loud, you guys can see he has um, a Duck Tree on his own. So NJMP, knowing that he's going to go into one of his Spadef walls, he makes a really nice double into Morwal, he can SD up here. Um, that's a fire play. Um, Porsche didn't want to stay in. He kind of needs this um, later for the Marek. It can take any hit from the Marek. Porsche needs to get up rocks and get chip on the Marek to bring in skull range from this. So he brings this Tangros out. This already gives us information. This is most likely fifth death Rocky Helmet Tangros. Plus two uh, player is a roll in Porsche's favor. So he can definitely live this and he has to hope that he can hit a sleep powder. Because uh, Fist Death Tangle just runs uh, Sleep Powder, Hidden Power, Ice Giga Drain, and I think Knock Off most of the time. So it cannot really touch the Mawile. He just has to hope that he can uh, get this roll, but he should be able to get it. And But he also has to hit the Sleep Powder. And afterwards, um, like no, looking at his team now, so since this is, has to be Fist Death, um, that means he's really weak to a special attacking Tapu Koko. So I'm thinking that this is, has to be Scarf Dark Trio. That makes me think that the Gengar is the Z-Move user, uh, because otherwise he doesn't have a Z-Move user so far, and the Celestia should be defensive, this is like a balance-ish looking team. Usually the Celestia is always defensive, or like bulky on this type of team, uh, mixed defensive. So yeah, he's just gonna go, uh, NJMP is gonna go for player, he's gonna go for Sleep Powder, and hope that he can live the player off, it's a rule like I said. I think min max damage is like 103%, I don't really remember, I ran a calc earlier. Um, and yeah, then he has to put this to bed, and this is the moral does not get the roll. He does just go for sleep powder, and he disconnects. So this is nice for Porsche. Now he has to switch out. Zygarde just became a big threat because look at Zygarde and look at his team. Tangles is the main answer. Tangles already got chipped, so now he has to he has to like get, get region here. I would just go on a doggy and, and try to trap this. I uh, hope that NJMP stays in and doesn't wake up immediately. This turn he's asleep guaranteed. If you go hard to Dougie, then if he doesn't get the first turn wake, you can um, probably not even Oko him with Earthquake. Yeah, okay, I understand. I understand if he wouldn't go to Dougie because Dougie actually probably doesn't doesn't Oko this at all since it runs max HP. Like from the Rangers ad, I assume it doesn't Oko. I can actually pause it and run a Calc real quick. Um, let me do that. So you guys can see here, Earthquick does uh, 73 to 87 from Choice Garth Duck Trio to Max HP Mega Morwal. So this is not in Porsche's favor. So I'd completely understand if he wouldn't, if he doesn't want to go out into Duck Trio, and if he goes into like, um, he can like go to a Steel. I hope this doesn't wake up and then Flames Rock or to it KO. But I assume he's gonna go the and um, try to tweet KO with him Power Fire. So yeah, let me um, continue. Uh, I clicked pause on the recording by mistake instead of on the... Yeah, I, I misclicked there, it's whatever. So yeah, since I ran that calc, I know that... Yeah, going Dougie is not in his favor, but Dougie is not doing much this game anyways. 
Um, it doesn't even kill the Majorna either since that also runs max HP and that can just trick room up on the Dagi later again. But yeah, he obviously has to switch, like I said, he has to get regen. Um, he should like try to get more regen later in the game with his Tangos, but it's gonna be super hard. Um, so it would also be, I already talk, talked about this, it would be in his uh, interest to go for rocks, but he cannot afford to go for rocks, there's a plus to Morwell, it just burned the guaranteed sleep turn. Mm, so he's probably forced to go for Hidden Power Fire here. Since he cannot play around with a plus to Morwell, and if he loses the NC here, this Morwell might just uh, run completely. Like, it's not gonna run completely through his team, but it's gonna do way too much damage to his team. And if the Morwell gets away, and like, if he, let's say, he gets goes for rocks here, and the Morwell stays in, that would be way too, like, he would be put in a really bad position. So just just go for Hidden Power Fire as the Yuxi comes out. We see the red card Yuxi, I like that a lot. Um, that helps if the opponent tries to like set up an SD and then attacks the Yuxi. If you have red card, you drag them out, it's really nice. So what helps was the setup sweepers in that sense. Like if the opponent has like some sub SD and then they attack, they should get dragged out. I think that's how it works, yeah. So he does just go back the end. So he should finally try to get up his rocks, not sure why he didn't do that earlier. As I assume he's just gonna go back into Majorna, or he does go on a mall while making the aggressive play. Now the Trick Room is back up. Um, I think he burned one sleep turn on only, so he gets lucky there and gets a first turn wake. As he can eat up a hidden power of fire. Um, Trick Room is up, he can go for player off, but he knows that um, Porsche still wants to keep this DNC around, so Porsche can go into his um, into one of these two here, most likely into the Steeler, since he cannot afford to sack the Tang Rose. Um, he has to go into one of these two, but most likely this, since this is also helpful for the Marowak. So we already know he's most likely going to go Celesteela. And if NGMP wants to predict that, he can go for um, Knock Off or Fire Fang, something along those lines. He does predict that makes a Fire Play, goes for Knock Off. Celesteela takes 91. Um, I don't think there's a point in protecting here. I mean, he can protect to waste the last turn of Trick Room, but then he dies to Sucker Punch after anyway, so I don't think it makes a difference. If he protects here or if he just attacks. And afterwards the trick room ends and he can just revenge this mall. Since like if you if you protect here and he SDs again, um, that means Sucker Punch does even more to the end. So I don't really like the protect play there. But since he didn't SD, this is fine for him. The end can love a sucker punch after. Sucker punch is this, now he goes the end and like, that's his best and only play. I would, like, the Dagi dies to Sucker Punch. He could go Dagi and play mind games, but it's not worth it. Um, when the end, he can live a Sucker Punch and kill us with HP Fire. So I assume NJMP just wants to weaken this with a Sucker here. Mm. But yeah, it's looking like um, Zygarde can sweep him late game. So he does kill the more with a Moonblaze there. NJMP is going to get a Trick Room back up here. Moonblast does do a good chunk. And he can... He's probably gonna sack off... Uh, he's probably gonna go for Memento here. Memento cannot... Um, does not get affected by Magic Bounce. It does go through. So the DNC is at minus two. He does get, get his Murrug in and he can just click Shadowborn here. He doesn't have any like... Reason to go for SD first. Like this is just super threatening to Porsche's team and since the Toxapex is running Spidev we already know that he brought it in on the Majorna earlier so like it's so, so definitely looking like Spidev that means uh, it's gonna take a fuck ton from Bomberang and Merrick if it's a uh, minus uh, speed nature, brave nature, zero speed IVs it should outspeed um, a Toxapex and Trick Room unless Porsche has specific EVs to outspeed Merrick and Trick Room um, but I could see NJMP having like maybe Adam and Nature to outspeed, um, outspeed Saddle Stealer outside of Trick Room because like Trick Room is not always up. I can see that for sure. But yeah, it's partial. Like everything dies to Shadowbone of Labyrinth. The only thing I can live here is Toxapex, and then he has to hope that his Toxapex is maybe faster than Trick Room, and he can two hit KO this Murak with Scald. Because NJMP is just gonna go for Shadowborn or Boomerang and blow this packs away. If it's like Spadeva takes too much from even Boomerang, he doesn't even. Uh, I meant Shadowborn. It takes too much from even Shadowborn. He cannot recover it off. 
And if he goes for recover on SD, that would be really bad for Porsche. So it only plays Scalding here, I assume, yeah. Mm. So it does take a while to make his play. He's probably trying to think how he can win at this point. But it's looking really bad. Um, even if he can get rid of the Marowak, Engine Peak still has a healthy um, Cresselia, a somewhat healthy um, Majorna, so it's not that hard for him to um, set the Trick Room up again. And Zygarde is also just ready to clean her Porsche's team. Since uh, the Tangrowth is also low, like somewhat low, it definitely is in range of the Zygarde's Bandit Outrage. And if it's not Bandit Outrage, it can also DD up, like I said, on something like the Dougie or the. the Potentially the packs, we shall see. But yeah, he does go for Scald. He is faster, which is like surprising to me. So maybe NGMP is running the Adam in Nature on the Merrick. Because I don't think you run, you would run zero speed IVs on your packs. I don't, I don't think so. So yeah, um, he can just go for Scald here, but I can also see Porsche. Like NGMP might save this Merrick and try to um, Trick Room up again and then Luna Dance the Merrick since the Merrick kind of destroys Porsche. But to be honest, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It looks like NGMP just has this game locked up. Unless he chokes really hard, he has this game won. And he goes for Recover there and gets the play wrong. As the Trick Room does now end. Shadow One was a completely fine play there. Because if you if he um, doesn't get killed by the pegs there, then Trick Room ends and he outspeeds the next turn. And yeah, Porsche went for recover there. I'm pretty sure he predicted a switch and he wanted to get his packs back healthy in case he has to take on the Merrick again or in case he has to. Um, he also wants to take on the Majorna with the Mer uh, with the packs again later. So that makes sense that he went for recover, but it just it didn't work for him. And uh, Engine Peace play is also completely understandable. Like, Porsche like try to like somehow get out, but at this point it's just over. He does go for Shadow Ball, does nothing. So it's not specs damage, uh, most likely Z move Gengar. As Dougie has to be scarf, I've already talked about this. So NGMP can go for a trick room here. As Porsche makes a fire play and taunts him, so there's no trick room. So the, I don't think this um, Majuna has any move to Oko. This is either Gigavolt Havoc or Z Fleur Cannon. Uh, we do see it is um, Z Fleur Cannon, the Twinkle Tackle. And someone in the chat said Max is 98. So that at 92, so I don't think this ever killed the Gengar, like I said, um, they say 98 in the chat, I think they say it again in a bit. So Gengar picks up the Majorna, but at this point, you can just go to Zygarde and clean up, the game is over, since the Tangors is low. So, even if it's a DD variant, he's not gonna go for DD, because it's a Taunt Gengar. Um, but he can also go for Z-Move. If there's a Z-Twinkle Tackle, z Dead and Green Gengar, that would be so fire from Porsche. Um, I don't think it matters because um, afterwards, um, NGMP still has his Crest and he has Mental Herb, so he can't get taunted and he can Trick Room again and Luna Dance the Merrick and he has enough turns to just win with those two mons. But it would just be cool to see a Z-Twinkle Tackle. So he does sack off the um, Dougie there. So he's he's um, trying to see the Zygarde set. If, uh, if the Zyra went for DD, I guess he could have tried to like toxic it or something. I don't think it made a difference at all. He could have tried to moment to it. I don't know, dude. It didn't matter at this point at all. Like, even if the Zyra sweeps, it sweeps. If it doesn't sweep, the combo of Metal Up Chris into Luna Lens into Merrick wins. Or Chris alone even wins because the Gengar is. Yeah, Chris alone even wins. Because it has Ice Beam to pick off those two ones. The Gengar is at 8%, and the Tangrowth is fits there. And yeah, it cannot really touch the Chris either. And yeah, it is outrage, so it makes me think it's Bennett for sure. I mean, it could still be um, GD, but like Bennett makes more sense. So he goes into the Tangros here, but Tangros. So he has hope. He has to hope that it's not Bennett. If it's not Bennett, Tangros can live a hit and go for Sleep Powder. But even if Tangros lives and goes for Sleep Powder, like I said, the game is over. Chris plus Merrick wins, um, or Chris alone, Chris alone even wins, I've talked about this enough. And yeah, there is the Outrage, it is Choice Banner, the Tangos just dies, and Gengar has to come out here and go for its Z-move, and even if it kills, like I said, the game is over anyway. As Chris can go for Ice Beam or Trick Room after, and he goes for a never ending nightmare, he lives on one. So Zygarde just picks up the win for NJMP. Like I said, didn't matter if Zygarde lived or not. But it was a cool game. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for Ulti. 
uh, Zuchtrest, how we pronounce it in German, versus Alexander is gonna be coming later. Um, I recorded that yesterday. I also recorded um, Star Master with Omfuga and another game that I forgot. Uh, Trosgo vs. Um, ben Manafi. And I think those games, yeah, they're all gonna be coming. If my voice doesn't uh, give up before, I hope my voice will stay around. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, it was a cool game. Hope you all enjoyed. And NGMP, this was like his first tour game in a long time. He also uploaded this on his channel. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it there. But yeah, if you want to see it live and have the smoke tours on the chat on the side, you can. That's why I also do this. So I know people like the smoke tours chat on the side. Sometimes the players themselves that play the game also want to see the chat. So yeah, peace out. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more content. And Doctor signing out. Peace.